Just Shock TV versus Scotland. Janet are here once again with what I like to call the Clean Down Online Edition. As we go over today, Third Strike Street Fighter 3 Online Edition. Yeah, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Online Edition. It's a game with over 10 years of history played tournaments all over the world. It's still considered one of the most technical, one of the greatest fighting games of all time. And definitely, you should get on it if you want to have a look at it. The game is brought to us probably one of the greatest eSport fighting game moments of all time. That evil moment where Justin Wong with that turtle Chung Lee went through the super art and Daigo Umihara parried the crap out of him and won that game. Anyway, fun memories. My personal experience of the game, I remember first really coming into contact with it. Uh, shout out to James Doherty by the way, he was the first person to introduce me to it. Played it at his flat one time, had a laugh with it, obviously it wasn't too good, just mashing out sure you and stuff, but to be honest, it's one of the, probably the first few things where I really, really got into fighting games. Just playing third strike on his emulator uh, as flat a couple of years ago. But anyway, yeah, we'll just get, we'll just get right into the game right here. So uh, first of all, got to play it on stick really. Anyway, we'll go over we'll go over what we've got here. We'll do this we'll do this a weird sort of sort of, sort of going over kind of review style here. Anyway, so we've got here we've got this new like this is new for online edition. We've got new redrawn characters, new redrawn sprites. But anyway, we've got different modes in this game. We've got, your, we've got, obviously we've got your single player, we've got your multiplayer, you've got to play locally, play online, play with your friends, play against people online. We've got a ranking board, see how well you're doing online, see how well your friends are doing online. Helping options, changing everything about, and DLC. We're not sure what the DLC is going to be yet, they're, they're keeping it under wraps, but who knows what it could be. Anyway, so heading the single player option. The single player option, you've got, you've got your arcade mode, you've got your trials, your training, and you've got your challenges in the vault. But anyway... Well, uh, we'll have a parkade mode and we'll show you what it's all about here. So we've got the new screen for the character select. So we've got, you know, characters from Street Fighter history like Akuma, Ryu, Ken, Chun Li, and other characters like, like Oro, Q, Necro. This is sort of the oddball cast of Street Fighter series, but don't let that discourage you. They're they're all really cool characters. Uh, basically, if you want to play well in this game, you choose Chun Li, you choose Yun, you choose Urien, you choose one of the high tier characters, but. Since we're just screwing about, I suppose I can play as you go. But I'll just I'll just show you a bit of the game, show you how it plays out a bit. So all you saw there was you get a list of super arts that you get to choose. That's your uh, that's your obviously your special move. But anyway, yeah, we're in game, right? So I'm against Sean, which is the the sort of the new show. He's a bit different. Now I'm playing as you go, the the game grappler. And uh, basically just just dick it about the computer. As you can see along the side, the games. The games in a four by three ratio. You know, most games are on my screen. This this stays true to its native arcade sort of sort of setting, which is which is cool to see. Uh, basically, you see, I'm only just grabbing people. But uh, basically, what I show you, what also you see on the screen at the side is you see the uh, challenges there. Challenges are just sort of to keep you going. They're kind of like Call of Duty challenges. You know, kill this many people, blah blah blah. But obviously, it's a, a Street Fighter sort of challenge in this one. And uh, boom, basically, <laughs> got parried there. But basically, it, it, it tracks how you're playing through the game, like, as you can see, it's scoring up how many throws I do, and it, it combos up to the vault, the vault points. Basically, what you'll see from the vault points is, uh, what, you'll see, what you'll see vault points lead to is uh, artwork and stuff you can unlock in the vault, but I'll show you that later. So I won that match quite handily, but as you can see, the, sort of, the challenges pop up and they can range from, like, doing throws, how many matches rounds you've played to uh, hitting big combos, doing big damage, all sorts of things. Not a cool thing, but the arcade mode in this is you get to choose your path, you get to choose who you fight. Now, these are both quite high tier characters here, Makoto and Chun Li, so I'm going to get beat no matter what I do. Not that you meant to have a defeated statue, but let's go up against Chun Li. Anyway, and then I'll, I'll show you some of the other modes in the game. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, there's more, there's more sort of uh, stuff to do, like challenge wise. I uh, was just doing our throw. Boom, take that. Clap. Clap like you mean it. But yeah, so I'll just I'll just show you this other match, just show you it playing it out. But basically, yeah, just, just, you know, just, you know, usual 2D fighting game fair here. Oh, that's a super move. This is going to hurt her. 
But as you can see, I'm, I'm scoring more vault points here. Anyway, yeah, the challenge is just unlock stuff in the vault, but that's enough. That's enough talking about the vault. Anyway, you get you get normal throws, you get command throws, you get all sorts of other things. I'm just tossing chum way around. This this just doesn't look fun. But then again, if you've played me at a fighting game, you know this is this is what I do. I just throw people and they're poison walking in there. But anyway, I've shown you that. So we'll have had enough have had enough of this, right? So I'll show you I'll show you what else we can do, right? Uh there's Yang. You can see options as well. Another, another cool thing to check for the the, the options main is you get you get all your character listings, you get to show all their moves, all the all the different notations that I've gone over in my in a video I done earlier today, which is the uh, the the notations and stuff video. So you get to watch that. Other things as well, settings you can choose. You can choose all sorts of things. You can choose the view if you wanted to view it like it's in an arcade cabinet, but it's normal widescreen stretched. You know you can change the filter, which changes how it looks a bit. Crisp, smooth, and none. Scan lines if you want to give that authentic kind of arcade cabinet look to it. But I, I just prefer it normal with no scan lines. And controls as well. Controls is quite easy to configure. You just press the button for what you want and it sets it to them all for you. Job done. Button checks. So simple in this game. It's brilliant. If anything, this is going to be the best thing about tournaments. It's going to move so much faster with the button checks. But on the multiplayer hopper, you get all sorts of different things. Local match. Play against someone that you're with, rank match, play against other people online, player match, play friendlies against other people's tournaments, sets you up into a sort of tournament mode, single elimination bracket, get to choose whatever you want, but no enough time to check that. Challenges and then invites is a PS3 exclusive thing where you get to check your invites. Challenges, there's different online challenges as well, social ones, criticise challenges, all sorts, all sorts of stuff you can go over. Uh, let's see. What else is it to go over? There's the uh, the trials mode. The trials mode is nice. So we'll pick a character. We'll pick Hugo, right? Trials mode is essentially the game gives you a combo to do, and you get and then you've got to obviously em emulate it. And a uh, good thing about this is you can hit the select button or the back button on your uh, Xbox, and you can see what the command is. So let's see a cool combo for Hugo there. I just done his uh, half circle throw, throws him into the wall, and then done his anti air throw. Right, let's see. Right, let's see. So you just do, you do what the game asks you. So I'm linking. I'm trying to link the two claps into each other. Unfortunately, I'm getting two short jabs. But this is this is essentially what the game's about. Oh, I'll just grab as well, because I'm, I'm that pro. I don't care what the game wants me to do. I'll just grab again, because I don't care what the game wants me to do. And because my execution is shoddy, but... Okay, that was weird. should not have grabbed there. Right. Fierce palm. Nope. Fierce palm, normal palm. Oh, Alright, yeah. there we go. Three at combo there. Not a couple of specials, right? So this is, a. Uh, this is essentially just, you know... Basically, it just gives you the, the combos to do and you emulate them. Uh, the good thing about uh, about uh, Third Strike Online as well is it tells you it tells you how you do them as well. Like, so like down means linking into, so you just you just do the normal you just do the buttons like it's a link. XX means cancel, so you cancel the last frames of the jab. Let's see if I can hit this. I'll give this one try. No, I can't do it. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so crap at this game. No, nah. <laughs> can just hear me mashing at this. Everybody in the world is disappointed that the Janet are failing. You go trial three. Another thing in the game that you can show you is uh, parrying. Parrying is uh, basically instead of blocking, which you can do in any fighting game normally, it's uh, you cancel the f you, instead of blocking, you press forward in the first two active frames of the hit. So instead of cancelling it, you parry it. What it does is it puts you at advantage so that you can, you know, do some attacks, do some damage. It's essentially, it's like an offensive block. It puts you in an offensive position when you block. Obviously, it's a risk because you've got to time the parry right. But essentially, it, what it does is it puts you at a sort of advantage where you can hit after you block. Don't take any damage for a block because if it's a special move, you take chip damage and you can just do, you know, sorts of cool stuff over that. So I parried one there, right? Let's see if I can parry this one. Right, this is a two at first. No. 
Right, didn't parry that one. It tells you, it tells you you failed. So I'm a failure. I got one hit of it. See, it's a two out of fireball, so you've got to learn the, learn the uh, parry timing and that, right? I'll not do any more parries because I'm a scrub. But anyway, yeah, so that's the that's the trial mode as well. So that's just showing you showing you the trials that you can do in the game. Uh, not not totally hooked up to the internet, so I can't actually do I can't actually show you the online aspect, the online edition, but to wrap up, that's that's basically what you get in the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Online Edition. It's it's a good package. Definitely put together definitely a, a love letter of the series from Capcom, I'd say. It's definitely, you know, a well put together package. For anybody that wants to play the game, that's played the game for years and just wants an, another shot at playing it on, you know, their, their home consoles and stuff. It's another good addition and uh, I definitely applaud Capcom for putting this one together and, uh, you know, I guess I'll just wrap it up here because I've got nothing much else to see apart from, look at that sexy picture of girl man, green and blue man, long blonde hair and a thong. How could you not want to play this game looking at that? Anyway, I'm the janitor, this was for jo Just Jock TV and representing versus Scotland. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all later. Boom.